We're here today to talk about a major threat to Maryland, a threat to our jobs, to our homes, and to our retirements. Current state and former U.S. Treasury officials recall the fallout from the financial crisis that occurred nearly a decade ago. 250,000 people lost their homes in Maryland, 55,000 construction workers lost their jobs, 27,000 auto workers, steel workers, and other manufacturing lost their jobs. These were times that were bad times and times that we should not have to return to. To prevent that from happening again, Senator Jim Rosapep has introduced Senate Bill 884, which would create the Maryland Financial Consumer Protection Commission. So what my bill would do is say we're going to set up a watchdog group to keep an eye on what President Trump and the Republicans in Congress are trying to do to unleash the wolves of Wall Street again. The longtime senator enlisted the help of former U.S. House Financial Committee Chairman Barney Frank. I know people will say, well, why is the legislature getting involved? There's a very important piece of this legislation that was aimed at the role of states. Frank is the co-author of the 2010 Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform Act, legislation that brought about the most significant changes to financial regulation in the U.S. Before we pass this law, the Federal Reserve was the primary regulator of the financial institutions for consumer protection. The fact that some elderly person gets diddled on a bank account rarely reaches the attention of the Federal Reserve people. Responsibilities of the panel include the following. Monitor both the Congress and the administration's deregulation efforts. Identify and speak out on issues that will endanger Marylanders. Recommend state action to protect Maryland from federal deregulation. One of the recommendations in the legislation is to include banking regulators and other experts to serve on the commission. But one senator who has extensive experience in the financial services field says Maryland already has enough protections in place. We have watchdog groups out there that are interested, amongst anything else, to pull and discipline people already. To add another layer, I'm not sure really does anything for anybody. Senator Andrew Serafini is a financial planner with over 30 years of experience. He wants Marylanders to have confidence in their financial institutions, but says a state consumer protection commission won't weed out the bad guys. There's 99% of the people that really want to do it right and do it right, and then we write a lot of legislation over that 1%. Frank's biggest fear, along with others who came out to speak, is that Congress could roll back his Wall Street Reform Act, a move he claims would reset the clock to 2008. And if enough other states do this, that will be a very important reassurance to the people of the state that they're not going to again go through what, uh, what the whole country went through nine years ago. In Annapolis, I'm Yolanda Vasquez for State Circle.